<laughs> Mr. Feeney could teach you everything, which I never really watched that show. Along with Georgie Lamar. <laughs> Everybody was like, oh, Topanga's so hot. She was an awkward-looking girl. She's and you hot. know what awkward looks like, right, SKS? I see awkward every day when I look in the mirror. Okay, so let's... I see awkward with that five-second video you you gave me. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Video call. <sighs> Fucking plastic bag tax. Look at that. Yeah. I know. Yeah. The environmentalists love me. I mean, look at this. Dude, yeah, you solved that problem. But the capitalist... It's because of the GDP. They're forgetting about the market meltdown, though. Yeah, it needs to go away. That's right. The All GDP right. will eventually fix itself. Let's go to the next turn. All right. There's another Dick Cheney... <laughs> there. <laughs> there is no doubt that Saddam Hussein now has weapons about Really? <laughs> They're in Syria. We found them, and I think that's why Russia and the United States are fucking around there. What was that for? Dick Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> On a good note, we're Pollu now in the surplus again. Pollution's gone away, but there was an immigration scandal, which is going to piss off the Patriots again. Damn it. Mm-hmm. Bio retina scans, those sound good right about <laughs> A random check of the food packaging industry has found a shocking number of people doing low-paid jobs without work permits. Well, we caught it. How is that bad? Opponents of immigration are outraged that the government has been unable to control our borders. Oh, Jesus Christ. Freedom of Information Act. There have been calls for a law to increase well, availability. This is a this is a no-brainer for this country. Propose it. <laughs> yeah, we kind of have to. Uh... <laughs> with the immigration scandal. I mean, the average should not be, so we'll propose that and go on. Next turn, we should have this duck taken care of. The liberals don't even have a bar. <laughs> They're they just done. <laughs> just like, well, fuck this. We're out. They like community policing. They just don't like armed police, which doesn't make... Yeah, what the hell? Well, they don't like the fact that the police officers are armed with some machine gun. <laughs> yeah, they get over it. I mean, I, I was held at gunpoint by a police officer before. That There's a difference between a Ooh. pistol and a fucking submachine gun. Not really. They're both going to kill you if they hit you with it. So maybe we should pump some more money into this. As, as contrary to what Hollywood tells you, guns don't necessarily kill you instantly upon impact. Well... You have, you have some time once you're mortally wounded. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah, you don't just go, uh, uh, and then... <laughs> right. Well, another preventative too-late measure once again from El Presidente. Retina scans, oh yeah. I don't want to do retina scans. You have the money for retina scans. But we still want some immigration in the country. I mean, I guess we do. They duck our jobs. I think that's about good. Well, I don't know. Think of how much this costs for a uh, for a political power too. There might be a better way you can expend your political capital this turn. I don't know. I have forty three. Yeah, that you know. That means you can uh, push through a lot of controversial issues. Citizenship tests could be something you could save up for. Or you could actually do that right now. Yeah, that'd be a patriotic type thing. Let's go for it. We got the turn. Patriots love that shit. Racial tension goes down. Patriot membership goes up. Immigration goes down and liberals... Fuck them. Doesn't cost anything. Yeah, decreases racial tension. I love it. Then we can leave that other bar. Yeah, we can leave the other bar, so you'll still have some immigration. Hooray, it'll be legal immigration. That's right. Hopefully. <laughs> so, the only two issues you have left are the asthma epidemic and uh, homelessness, which has reappeared courtesy of the GDP sinking. All right. Do we want to do anything else? The poor are still disliking me. It's courtesy of the homelessness and the yeah, immigration scam. They got hit by two right at the... Oh my god. 
And the immigration scandal is, of course, upsetting because they're taking their jobs. Duck <laughs> Magic! <laughs> Alright, I think we're done with this turn. There's really nothing else to. If you say there's nothing else. Well, what do you think? Second in command. Well, I don't think I'm second in command. I'm just the viceroy of Get Fogged. What do I know, right? Viceroy. I provide you with no political capital. <laughs> well, I mean, there are some oh, new. This bugs. dude's giving me four. Yeah, because he sides with the poor and the capitalists, and they both like you. The liberals, not so much. <laughs> And the motorists aren't exactly your fans. Alright. Nobody knew, really. Personally, I still hate that economy bitch. But she is up to three now, so that's good. See, you, you give up on her too quickly. Well, that's because she's old. And she smokes in front of my face. <laughs> <laughs> she does not. You can go ahead and roll over. You don't know, El President! <laughs> you don't know! I wouldn't mess with the state health service like that. I was just looking. Calm down! Calm your ass! <laughs> I will not calm my ass. Fucking state pensions. Billions of dollars to old people. They kind of need them. Oh, it's a Saddam Hussein quote! Politics is when you say you're going to do one thing while intending to do another. Then you do neither what you said... No, what you intended. <laughs> and then they pulled him out of a rat hole. Oh! Good news, everyone! Yay! We're back surplus. up to the surplus. Yay! Appoint senior judge. One of our most senior and respected, uh... I read that as appoint Harold Harold. I was like, does he really have the same first name as he does a last name? <laughs> Senior and respected judges has died, and we now need to make a choice for his replacement amongst the nominated candidates. This individual will sit in our courts for a very long time, so we must make the right decision. Harold is a strong supporter. <laughs> and <then> Bernice. <laughs> Household name things are many famous rulings, generally violent crimes, and are often outspoken views on the harsh sentences that she feels should be applied to thieves, muggers, and shoplifters. She sounds like a patriot to me. What do you think? That's right. Lop off their hands, those sons of bitches. Damn straight. Oh, the parents are outstandingly loving us now. That's because there's no longer any asthma epidemic. So if we could take care of homelessness, which is going back down on its own... That's right. As the GDP fixes itself. It's because of my space program. Yes. <laughs> it gets rid of unemployment? Yes. <laughs> And the Patriots are satisfied with you. Everyone's satisfied. Uh, some degree of happy, except for uh, those conservative bastards. Now, clean energy subsidies is having a negative impact, but think of all the positive things it did for the pollution and the asthma epidemic. I know. I know. With 41 political capital, there's uh, some, some more changes you could surely make. I mean, at this point, you're not even done with the first turn, so you can definitely fine-tune your country for the rest of it. Because, I mean, I don't think there's really anything else we need to do unless we did, like, bus lanes. Yeah. Biofuel subsidies. I think bus lanes are a good idea. I mean, you can do some long-term sweeping enactments as you're comfortably secure now in your election. And decreasing car usage decreases the amount of pollution that'll be generated. Because as the GDP goes back up, so will the pollution. Boop! <laughs> I like how the working week shoots up. We could be... Kmart, Walmart. Kmart, Walmart. <laughs> this right now is just making the working week longer, right? We're 
over you in solid thought. I was thinking. I'm the Viceroy of Get Fucked. I, this is not my series. You still should be thinking. That's what I pay you for, with political capital. Yes, you pay me political capital, of course. <laughs> I've had a constant drain on your resources the entire time. No, you did not lose me. Yeah, you could, uh... You could just outright get rid of stem cell research, uh... Next turn? If you so wished. You could just straight up cancel that policy altogether. It is giving 4% toward the GDP, though. Yeah. And uh, if you actually adjusted it more to the right, it would give you even more GDP. I know, but it makes the religious people and conservatives hate me. Yeah. What are their numbers at right now, I wonder? I don't know. Take a peek, see. <laughs> conservatives are a quarter of the population. Let's have a gander. They don't much care about that terrorist attack. Otherwise, they're supportive of you. Then the... Uh, Religious... See, they're 15%. Their happiness has gone up a little bit. Because you banned same-sex marriage. So they're more upset about stem cell research than they are same-sex marriage. Well, of course they're not upset about same-sex marriage. You banned it. But I'm, but I'm going with the percentage, you know. Because it you would be you, 20... You, you don't know how much it would have gone the other way. Oh, maybe I do. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think you do. <laughs> How come I can't increase my oil? How do you do that? Your oil supply and stuff. <laughs> well, you, you you can't you can't determine that. Just like we can't determine that. Yeah, we could. We could send our military to take care of them. Of course, your citizenship test. You have thirty-two political capital burning a hole in your pocket, man gotta be something that you you hate and you want to cancel I really don't feel like canceling anything you, you, you like you like the state of the country as it is right now I kind of do yes All right. I mean some of these little things we could throw in here organ donation can definitely improve the li the, the life expectancy of our people. I'm totally for organ donation. I'm a big fan. Others suggest that this is no place for the state to interfere with explicit permission. And explicit permission should be needed. No, they can get far. What does, it mean, what does this mean? You're going to mandate organ donation? You, you could, rather than it just being like... A, well, go ahead and implement it. There are, like, places where you can, like, just, like, have incentives, or, like, by request, or you can just have universal no opt-out. Jesus, look how expensive that is. It's only in the millions. That's not billions. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I would say, look, I mean, compared to us, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what it is in our country, right? How does this, the religious people not like that? Because they like to have their body parts. They don't want any interference within the sanctity of those. Well, my grandparents are crazy about like people who get cremated, so I guess I can understand that. In that case, they would definitely not like my parents. When they both die, I'm going to reduce them to ash, just as they want. Well, see, that my grandfather, he was in the Marine Corps and everything, and he went everywhere in the world, but he never got to go to New Orleans. So he wanted to be cremated and then put in the Kentucky River so he would float to the Mississippi and he would go down to the New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. Orleans. Oh, this increases this. The religious people. Man, that but they're sixteen percent of the population. I really don't want to make them mad. They're only sixteen percent. You have the Patriots on your side, SKS. I know. And increasing lifespan increases productivity, which increases the GDP. That's why I want you to set the drunks on fire, too. But <laughs> you won't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> the drinkers are a, a solid third plus of our population. I know. Throw them under the bus. I should get rid of their... There is no alcohol tax. Oh, you should make one. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> 
I am not a fan of alcohol. I blame everything on it, as Jamie Foxx told me to. Oh my god, because he's, he's something somebody we should listen to. He's definitely a leading authority on the matter. I mean, come on, you know, Ron Howard was in that music video. Samuel L. Jackson. T-Pain. Oh my god. I blame it on the goose. I blame it on the... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. How many months two, do we get? Two middle class white people here at work every day. <laughs> Half of our income comes from income tax. Indeed. It used to be a lot more, but once... When, you know, back when the GDP wasn't so fucked. It wasn't still 50% at this low level, though. It was, like, you were earning, like, 80, 85 billion dollars from income tax. Yeah, no debt at all. No debt at all. Space program is the second most expensive. Damn straight it is. That's right. I'm looking forward to that space station whenever you get enough money again. <laughs> No joke. That's what I'm going to do. That's going to be the next step. The National Space Station of Kuwana. Eh, let's go ahead and end this turn. All right. Well, we're moving on up. <laughs> Look at that quote. <laughs> you cannot grab me like <laughs> Oh. Now, let me be clear. <laughs> Uh-oh. Choose election manifesto. The problem you've <sighs> done so well this time is that how are you going to make it better next time? I think the lifespan would be one of them. Alright. Violent crime is already so low, you can't rely on that. I mean... The inheritance tax. You could definitely abolish one of the taxes. Sure. Car tax, the inheritance was tax. It, it was the property tax we took down all the way, right? Yeah, it was the property tax we took down all the way. You spent quite a bit of political power to that, but I mean, you have so much to spare courtesy of the fact that you're doing so well you don't want to make that many adjustments I think you're only getting like 2 billion-ish from the property tax right now yeah, we can always get rid of those yep. I promise to abolish the and you're back to making money woohoo and the global economy is still in a recession that's right, religious symbols in schools oh dear I hate this one there's pressure for us to introduce a law to ban the wearing of religious symbols in state schools by students this would include wearing the hijab is that how you say that? I'm not actually sure about the pronunciation. I think it's hijab by uh, female. That's sure. the thing that covers their whole body, right? Uh, it's the sort of veil that wraps around their head, I think. But it could also cover the entirety of their body. I thought that was like a burqa, though. That's what I thought. That's why I don't. That's why I thought this was the full one. And the wearing of a cross by Christian students. And the, and the thing that I would point out here is to reject the ban. Like, are we seriously going to prevent the wearing of Christian crosses? This is something that upsets me about the game, and that the entire sort of perspective from it comes from a United States or a United Kingdom situation. We're in this fanciful, you know, fictitious country known as Kiwana, this capitalist heaven. Like, it, they don't necessarily have Christianity a thing, but that's the perspective no matter what country you play as here. And I think there's a really big difference between wearing a necklace with a religious symbol on it and then something that covers your body. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a problem with the religious symbols, uh, speaking of... Well, the biggest thing that come from was there, like, uh, when they wanted to wear them for their ID photos and things like that. You know, because if there's a kid sitting in, you know, in a classroom and their whole face and half of their body's covered up, do you even know what they're doing? You know what I'm saying? It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? <laughs> they're hiding in this sheet in the closet. Oh, God, they're a member of the KKK. It's um, not the children's fault they have to wear those. That comes from the parents now. So, I mean... Sounds like discrimination against Muslims, man. We don't do... We, we don't do racial profiling, we just do religious profiling. There we go. Nobody really expects this law to be used to prevent the wearing of Christian crosses. It exists purely as an excuse to ban Muslim students from dressing as they wish. It is still a, it's a contemporary issue, or at least it was at the time this game was released. It just, uh, it's a little curious that it always sounds like that. Yeah. I guess we have to reject the ban, because that's stupid. Okay, let's go on to making money. 
Look at this bar. Look at this Go bar. That's right. Voting intentions. 83% intend to vote for you. How long is it to uh, the next election? Since you made your manifesto, next term. Oh. Well, that looks like a good place to cut the video, then. I, I, how long is... I, I didn't think this was even going on for 20 minutes. It's actually a little bit over 20 minutes. Oh, well, there you go, folks. It's going to be a short episode. Well, you know, we got to balance it out. I'm, I'm starting to like cliffhangers. This is not a cliffhanger. Escape. This is a cliffhanger. This is not a cliffhanger. Fine, we'll keep the video going. It would take a monumental catastrophe for you to... Don't look. say that the terrorists have ears. <laughs> SKS, the terrorists aren't real. Yes, they are. Okay, do we want to do anything for the election? You have 40 political capital just burning a hole in your pocket. I don't really need to use any of that, though. Let's see if there's anything else I don't want to put up here. No, no. I don't even know why I click on that tab. Why do you keep looking at welfare? Because it's just second in line. Rural development grants, we discussed that before, right? Uh huh. I think you implemented that well done. Danger. I mean, at this point, you have enough political capital where if you really don't want to change anything, you could always just implement policies and then maybe even cancel them, depending on how you feel about them. Like we've said, you're in like a luxurious point right now where you can fine-tune the country. To this one, ideas. this actually promotes religion and conservatives and such. It does. But some see it as religion meddling in the tax system for no good reason. That's just your socialist. Well, go ahead and click on it. Find and out. your liberals. Huh? Apparently it doesn't have any uh, situations. And uh, I don't think there's much of an incentive to increase that bar all the way to maximum. I think it's fine where it is. Hell, there's even a big effect if you have it on the small side of things, too. I mean, we can go a little bit more than a million. Uh, and there are no negatives other than the drain on your financial resources. There we go. A small incentive. Hooray! All in fucking Chancellor Hayes is responsible for this shit. <laughs> Troy Hayes, he's like, look at me, bitches. I'm giving you tax breaks. I'm the descendant of Rutherford. <laughs> Everyone get fucked. My goodness, you you've you've made the Patriots so much happier with you over over all these turns. I know. I had to. All right, so let's click on this, and I guess we're gonna have an election, right? Yeah, in theory. Democracy means government by discussion, but it's only effective if you can stop people talking. That's right. It's hard to have a discussion when everyone talks. Well, yeah, cliffhanger. <laughs> Get fucked! <laughs> oh my ears! Cliffhanger. <laughs> the socialist coalition. No. Eighty-seven percent of the voters showed up. And uh, your voter turnout was roughly around that number, and the opposition voter turnout was a little around that number. All the liberals hated you so much; they're like, "Fuck." But look, I got 56% of their vote. That's because, you know, of all the other groups they tie in. And you're so popular with all the other groups. Strictly from a liberal perspective, they hate you, but many of those liberals are also drinkers or smokers. <laughs> I think it did pretty good. Share of the vote, 100% of the conservatives, and 94% of them came out to vote. That's crazy. That's right. Every conservative vote... All right. So now here's your real cliffhanger. How will SKS, you know, how will SKS handle his country now that he's secured an election? For another five years. I know, guys. How, how much of a financial reserve can he build up? Will he start investing money in a Swiss bank account? Find out next time.
Ooh, he ended the video for me. I like it. 